Hey guys, welcome back. We're just going to sum up what we've learnt. Um, just place value. If we had this equation, two, is it two, three, four, take away nineteen. Okay. What do we have to do? Pause it, hear the answer, come back to me. Okay, yeah, you're back, excellent. The next thing, four, take away nine. If I've got four, I can't take a bigger number away. So I have to go next door to the tens place value. Come into the tens, knock, knock, knock. Excuse me, Mr. Number 10, can I borrow you? Just one, just one 10. Yes, Mr. Blair. So that becomes two tens, and the one 10, comes either over here, and I bring the four up. So now it's saying fourteen ones. So a bit like the other day we had that tricky one, it was all mixed up, fourteen ones and whatnot. So fourteen is bigger than nine. So now I regroup. Fourteen take away nine would leave five. I cannot see that. Get out of the way. Go down. How do I do? Go there. 14 take away 9 leaves 5. 2 tens minus 1 ten leaves 10, but it's in place value and it's in the column. 2 take away 1, 1. And 2, there's nothing to take away from 2, so it stays the same. 215, which I know you would have got, because you're awesome. Alright, now Mr. Lewis started to figure out how to drive this thing. It's been 4 years. 4 years! Oh, where'd it go? There it is, all right. See, I can even rub it out almost properly. Pretty good effort. All right, that's enough of that. Now, on to our last game of this. I'm gonna make it a bit more challenging this time. I'm gonna bring in a decimal place, or decimal point, which means I'm gonna put the decimal point, come back here, I need you, that big red one. I'm gonna put it right there, right there. So not too difficult, just difficult enough. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if there's nothing in front of that decimal, that's the whole numbers on that side. That's your ones column. So do I need to put those? No, I don't. I think you'll be fine this side. Let's move this out of the way. Go back to this one, that one. See, look at me. All right, just see if this works. Excellent. So, I'm gonna just use this. You're gonna have to trust me. We're gonna make it a quick game. This is the time now, we've got three minutes gone. I'm gonna roll this. You have two seconds to put your uh, number in. Remember, we start with the top one. So it's gonna be zero point something. And we're all gonna have the same. When it comes to the next roll, we come down the next one here, and then we're talking ones and tens. Okay, is it ones or tens or what? Nah, it's not, it's different, isn't it? So if you come back here, on this side is known as the tenths, tenths. Now when I was at teacher's training college many years ago, Mr. Brian Stone, fantastic maths teacher, he taught me that when you're teaching people about saying tenths, you would put your finger on your on your lips and you go tenth tenth so you got the th tenth tenths so it's one has been divided into ten bits so in the past when we go in one column to the left we're getting bigger we're multiplying it by ten ten times bigger this one we're now dividing it by ten so it's going to become one tenth of what it was so let's give this a go I fancy my chances. Are we going for the biggest number or the lo lowest number this time? See, I'm saying biggest, biggest it is. All right, it's going to be a quick game. No cheating. Okay, I'll roll it on here. The number is a seven. How would you say that? How would you say that? 0 0.7, which is the same as saying seven tenths. Next one. It's a eight. Oh, I think I'll go here. Eight, because eight holes, pretty good. 
8 and 4. 4 tenths. How'd you go so far? You same with me? Oh, I'm looking pretty good, I think. It is a 5. 5, 5, 5, let's go. We're going to 5 there. You ready? Oh, come on. Choose on. Just pick a spot. Done, okay. It's another 5. Whee. We're going here. So at the moment, 5 and 5 tenths, or 5.5. Next one. And this will have to go into this spot for Mr. Blair. It's a, oh dear, it's a 1. Oh. 15.5 is my one. The biggest number you could have got is what? What do you reckon? Did anyone get? If you did, well done. Genius. Annoying, but genius. All right, we're on to here. We'd, so that was the tens. This was the ones. Tens, because they were over here. Now we're into the hundreds. So here we go. It is a, it's a six. It's got a line underneath. So six, I think we'll go here. Yeah, good call. Six. Next one. It's a, ooh, it's a zero. Yeah. So remember, always put the smallest numbers down here. Next one. Seven. Oh, that's, that's a good one. We'll take that. Seven. Some people put those little lines through it. Ooh, okay, here we go. Last one. You ready? It's a... Uh, to six. Yes, I did well. My total was 766. What did you get? Okay, now we're on to the last one. I think I'm doing pretty good. If you're going to win, this is the one you really want to focus on because we're now, we're talking sort of thousands now, aren't we? Thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths. Not really worried about tenths. It's a little number. Okay, so if you get a nine, you want to put it straight down the end. You get a zero, come down this way. Anything in between, it's a fair game, you have to go. It is. A zero. Surely you have to go there. You have to. Ready, next one. It's an eight. Ooh, it's teasing a little bit. I'm gonna go here. I'm going there because I know I'm going to roll a 9 or a 10. Ready? Next one. 3. Uh, we'll go there. Or oh, maybe I should have put the 8 over there. I think I should have. Next one. 3. Um, Mr. Blair's regretting what he's done. Okay, should, I think I should have put the eight there. Next one. It's a... It's an eight. Woo! It's an eight. All right, add them up. Pause the video, add them up, come back. Oh, I think I've done pretty well here. Pause there, and come back. You've done it already? Sure? Okay, let's add up my ones. I'll use a different colour. Let's go with maybe green. Yeah. Green. Okay. Uh, seven plus four is eleven plus five is sixteen. Bring the one over. So that was the tenths. So this is really saying one point six or one and six tenths or sixteen tenths. Brought the one over here into the ones column. Now if I was going to do this one, what would you do to add these up pretty quickly? Any idea? Mm, I might go, well, six and three make nine, and eight plus one makes nine, so that's 18, plus five, it's 23. 23. So, 
Next one. 6 and 3 make 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 2 is 12. I add that 1 to the 7 to make it 8 and I double 8. 16. Oh. 1 plus 8 9. So my answer is what? what? How can you say that? That's a 9,000, so I could put one of these little columns here. 9,623 and, 9, and 6 tenths, or 9,623.6. Sometimes it can be a little confusing when you're saying two ands in there, because it might sound like this 9,623 and. Six tenths. So there's too many and, so you probably want to say 9,623 and six tenths, or 0.6. All right, how'd you go? Did you beat me? I think, uh, I think I made a mistake in this one here. Generally, I think the rest were pretty good. Add them all up, uh, and I think I won. There's no doubt about that. You couldn't have beaten me. It's a good score from Mr. Blair. Fantastic score. All right, pause that video. Next week, we are going to be looking at the four, well, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Pretty sure that's what we're going to be doing. I might assign you a mathematics task that, it's like, are you ready? Just test what you, it's like a pretest. So that's what we'll do next week. See you later.